Hi everyone, I'm Apolonia Ponti, your dating and relationship coach for you men to go confidently in the direction to attract that woman you desire. And I have a special one for you today. Today's video topic is how to have a whole body orgasm. And I have a special guest here with me today, Michelle. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi. <laughs> thanks Hello for, everyone. Thanks for being here. <laughs> thank you for having me, Apolonia. Thank you, thank so you. Happy. Oh, I'm so happy too. Michelle Alva is a sex expert. She is also a physical therapist and a tantra healer. She connects the heart and soul to your sexuality. Ooh, that sounds <laughs> enticing. I love yeah. this. This is gonna be good. Okay, for all you men watching, if this is your first time landing here on this video, I invite you to take the opportunity to subscribe to this channel so you are up to date with dating and relationship advice. All right, Michelle, let's give our viewers some knowledge here. What is a whole body orgasm? Well, for I, I, I work with men and what a whole body orgasm is, is if you can imagine feeling electric throughout your whole body during your orgasm. Um, orgasm happens before ejaculation and it doesn't necessarily have to include ejaculation. And that's something that I didn't even know until I became a Tantra practitioner. So some men don't even know that they can have this whole body expanded ecstatic experience without ejaculation. And this is what Tantra is all about bringing people back to that bliss that is possible right. when we integrate the whole body into our orgasm. Oh, wow. So like, are there any uh, teaching mechanisms that you can give our viewers that are watching on how to start that process? Because I know it takes a while to probably get there, am I right? Yeah, well, what I notice with my clients is the people that meditate or pray that know how to shut their mind off and basically be very present in the moment mm -hmm. those are the ones that tend to do really well as opposed to if you're stuck in your head or you're very stressed out or you're always analyzing or thinking which hello a lot of men are <laughs> that does not help our physiology to be multi-orgasmic so what i recommend highly is for men to have some type of a quieting of the mind activity and why not massage yourself so this is what i recommend for people to do because it's it's not empowering when you wait f to meet someone that you're hoping is going to be orgasmic for you uh, what i teach men to do is to be the source of their orgasmic beingness and so i recommend a very simple exercise of just deep breathing connecting to a deep and long slow breath and allowing yourself to let go and practice ah and this is a big part of the tantra practices is just inhaling exhaling and you can do this for example while you're laying down and just leaning back and a lot of times we want to go forwards and get things done and it's all about the action but in reality whole body orgasm is really about the surrender because we're little animals and we're naturally orgasmic it is our nature to be orgasmic so it's not about trying to orgasm with your whole body it's about surrendering to the energetic being that you are and as a byproduct of that surrendering the only thing that's left is your whole body becoming ecstatic and orgasming. And yes, it takes practice and it's something that if you can just start to let go in general, let things go, let a past relationship go if it's really not serving you, let go of maybe trying too hard to make something happen. To perform. Yeah, so think about performing. You, you can use it, these principles not only sexually, use them in your life. You can ask yourself, where am I holding on to things that really it's not working? And the more you let go in other areas of your life, it's going to all be reflected in your sexual relationship with yourself because how we sex is how we everything. And this is something that sex is just a metaphor. So the men that have a difficult time whole body orgasming usually are the men that have a hard time releasing in general in their life. But that's where the Linga massage is really beneficial to have a Tantra practitioner to guide you very specifically so that you, it's not something that you're hoping to do, you're with an expert. And that's my clients have no problem because I know exactly how to guide them. And a, a lot of it is about really being willing to surrender to the unknown mm. because when we're in that sexual bliss, we can't control it, it's uncontrollable. So it's really fun though, the process of discovering yourself through that because 
it deepens your self relationship and it also makes you a more juicy lover. Ooh, I like that. Yeah. yeah. And we're actually going to do a video of, of the about the linga massage. Lingam. Lingam, Lingam. massage. Um, and I'm going to put that up here in the cards for you. How about if, um, would you agree, I want to ask you a question too because this is your avenue. Would you agree if a man was to fully surrender and open up his awareness to his, basically his sexuality his, and let go of his thoughts and be present with himself to have that full body orgasm, that he, if he can have that full body orgasm basically with himself mm -hmm. and his mindset and let go of those worries, those doubts, those past relationships, that do you think that eventually that that can enhance his current relationship, either if he's married, dating, whatever the case may be? Yes, because, and something I forgot to mention, can I add in a yeah, little tip? Yeah, of course. Um, for the men that want to expand their orgasm to connect, when I said the breathing, the heart is what, when we do these deep breaths, you're actually expanding your heart also. And a lot of times men, their sexuality is from the neck up or from the waist down. You know, if you're watching a lot of porn or if you're very fixated on how you're associating sex with what you see uh, visually, so focusing on the breasts or the curves, um, we're disconnecting from the heart. So what Tantra does is it helps us to bridge our heart so that we can get our heart on before we get our heart on. <laughs> and then the heart is what's pumping all that blood down to your penis and helping you to be rock hard. So this is what we want actually. And then there's a lot of men that say that they're scared of attachment. But in reality, the more you can be heart connected, yes. the more harder your erection is gonna be. And you can be in, in an interdependent relationship and you don't have to worry about being attached. But if you're worried about being attached, then you're gonna create more fears and that's just gonna cut that circulation. So the more we can just say, ah, I'm just gonna open up to my own sexual energy. And when you masturbate, this is what I teach clients is to squeeze your wand of light. When you feel like you're gonna ejaculate, going up to a, a almost and then just breathing up to your heart. So that's the practice that I guide people in when we're doing the linga massage, but we'll talk about that on the other video. Yeah, yeah for sure. And then I wanna uh, ask you one more question before we end this video, because we're talking about a full body orgasm. I wanna know too, um, is there a difference, like when a man comes to you, to that you help him with this, um, and basically coach him through this technique and reevaluate re the way he looks at himself, do you see them telling you, and do you hear them telling you that there is a difference of an orgasm between what they've experienced, the orgasm maybe with having sex with a woman, than the orgasm that they had, a full body orgasm? Yeah, because, I mean, I'll act it out for you. So a three-dimensional orgasm that is a physical orgasm where you're going like this, let's just say that you're standing and having sex, maybe she's in doggy style, and you're standing and you're thrusting your magical wand into your goddess and then you have an orgasm and you just eject from the waist down is your focus so men will feel their penis and the pleasure of that stimulation and then there's the, there's this kind of like they're they're helping to push out their orgasm mm. so that's the 3d orgasm so a tantra orgasm would be like this where he's doing the same motions and ah so he's breathing up to his heart, still feeling that deliciousness, but then all of a sudden your whole body just starts to feel tingly and your lips are, are a little bit shaking and ah, and he feels like a king and he just, he feels like he's 10 feet tall and you feel me, right? So I that's, yeah, I so that's the difference where you're the king, you know, it's this expansive and when that orgasm is over, you're uplifted, you're energized, you don't just feel like you want to go to sleep and you may have that whole body orgasm and you didn't ejaculate because you've built up that endurance. She can have, you know, she might just squirt everywhere and have a whole body orgasm, mm -hmm. but then you can just reload and breathe some more and give her some more pleasure for the whole night. You know, you could do this for hours because the tantric way energizes you. It doesn't deplete you because it's about you surrendering to that natural energetic flow of sexual energy that you are instead of you thinking that you have to mm, mm, do all this work and that's what really i'm passionate about is just 
you guys do so much already, you know? What if your sexual energy could be more about, ah, you know, just being, being so yummy in your body. And for a woman, that drives a man, that drives a woman crazy when her man is lit up. Mm -hmm. And it's the same thing for the man when his woman is lit up. Um, it's a whole different experience. It is, it is. Well, thank you for doing this video with me. I loved it. I'm convinced now. I'm like, <laughs> I want to book a session. Let's go. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. If you liked today's video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to get in contact with Michelle, I'm going to put her links of her website and her YouTube channel below. Also comment and ask any questions that you might have. Michelle and I will do our best to respond to your questions below. And this is a safe place. So please Yes. Comment as much as you want as I monitor the comments, so I will watch these carefully. And as always, I'll see you again in the next video. And remember, you are always loved. Bye yes. for now. Bye. <laughs>